Peace and blessings to the tribe. Praise be to the most high. You know, the only reason I feel like I got to call stuff like that, this out is we got some of the most influential people on the planet um, selling fear. You know what I'm saying? We got enough doom and gloom in the world, tribe. Let's say that for the birds. Let's put people in positions of influence who have a positive, optimistic, uplifting vision for the future. Because there's a lot more that, that could go right, that could go wrong. You know, like Elon, it's always, oh, if Kamala wins, it's going to be socialism in World War Three. Oh, it's going to be a nuclear asteroid. Oh, the sun's going to blow up. You know, but it's like horror movies because pessimism sells. And uh, it's, it's psychological tricks. When you're in a state of fear, you're easily manipulated, you're easily swayed, you're easily mobilized. Uh, you're more likely to buy things, even what they're doing with these Haitian immigrants and immigrants in, in general. You know, they're making everybody scared. Um, it's what they did with COVID. It's what they did with their uh, fake nuclear bombs since like the 40s or the 50s. I'm not too sure when they uh, introduced that one. Uh, it's, it's like it's like a ghost. It's like ghost stories. You know what I'm saying? It's like ghost tales to to, to make sure that your your little kids don't go out late at night. It's stupidity, family. Let's talk about progress. Let's talk about yo. I have a beautiful vision for the future, personally, because I believe in the Most High, Subhanahu Wa Taala. Only people who don't believe in God are pessimists. And this is what I even tell people. Uh, you know, we all slip up, we all get tricked, and we all hear whispers sometimes from the shaitan. You know, but sometimes even a lot of my friends who say they believe in God and they really do believe in God, but uh, they let they let the the Satan, the devil, whisper in their ear. Um, like convincing them of, of a pessimism and a dark a dark future. And it's it's not how the most it's not what Allah promises. Allah promises a beautiful future. You know, and if it's not in this life, you persevere, you you learn patience, you purify your heart, and it'll come in the next one. Lord willing. You know, but fear is idolatry. Fear is idolatry because we talk about fear of God. You know, and Elon, somebody like Elon, when they come up and say, when they tell everybody that the earth is going to blow up, that's like trying to play God. Because it says in Quran, nobody knows the hour besides the creator. Even if you read the gospel, Jesus, peace be upon him, he didn't know when the hour was. So, what, you know, you, you're telling me that Elon's smarter than Jesus? Peace be upon him. You know, it's... It's idolatry. If you fear something that Elon said, it's idolatry because you're putting him up on that pedestal where only God should be. Another thing that the Quran says, nobody can harm you except what God wills and nobody can benefit you except what God wills. So anybody can talk anything they want. If it's not in God's plan, it's not going to happen, family. And if it is in God's plan, <laughs> it's part of the plan and it's got some benefit to it. But it's hard to see through it at a localized 